right in the sack. I can dig through and find it. It does have some direction. See, it has two little paws right there. So you're gonna orient it over your back table. Find where your paws go. And then if you're not careful, all of this that's kind of tucked into this cuff will unfurl. So I kind of just get around the edges and kind of hold on to that a little bit. So you're gonna keep your hands under here. I have my fingers like holding this like this under here. Okay, so you're gonna get your foot on your mayo sand. You're gonna put the mayo sand in that little opening there, the little mouth. Then once you get it started, you can belly up to your mayo sand. That does a couple things. Well, one thing in particular, keeps this tail from falling down there. If the tail falls, it's out of play. Okay, you need a new one. So just wanna stay on the top, but you can work around this way, right? Sometimes it gets stuck and you kind of got to pull, but you don't want to go down there. That's bad. It's out of our zone, right? Uh -huh. So then tuck it. I do three things. I tuck, I towel. Well, I tuck, I turn, I towel. You don't have to turn it if you don't want to, but it helps me orient how I set up my mayo stand because this is where I'm going to be standing. So that helps my brain a little bit. But you also have to think about where it's gonna go at the field. So this side of my mayo stand is going to be the side that's closest to my operating field. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna set up my instrumentation on that side. So you'll see that. So I'm gonna towel. Why do we put a towel? Just so it looks pretty. Another layer of protection. A little extra protection. This one looks like somebody threw up on it. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> okay, so then you want to think about your working area, which I call the kitchen. And on this side, this is going to be the kitchen because I'm going to move my table up this way so that this end is going to be closest to my, my field right here. Okay, so I'm going to set this up as my working area, which means I'm going to set my drapes over here. So I'm gonna try to think about like three sections of my table and try to reduce the number of times I move thing in the drapes, okay? <clears throat> when you're putting down your towels, here's what not to do. <laughs> okay? Instead, just kind of start in the middle and work towards your edges. What happens if you put it down and it does go like this? Is that okay or do you need to get rid of it? It's fine, just don't move it. <laughs> it's fine, just don't move it, right? Okay, so all of my drapes are gonna go there. The chow. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh. One, two, three, the other side. That's where my working area is gonna be. And then I just have this one last little area. Again, extra added protection. Okay. Can ever have too much protection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get my instrument. Now this, we have just kind of reduced these down to the bare bones, so everything will go on the mayo stand, just lock it and close it. Those are the things we're focusing on. So for this tray, it's a little bit weird, you just kind of have to reach in and grab these little edges. Good, awesome, there's an indicator, it has changed. So that's good. My next plan of attack is to get ready to count with my circulator. So I'm gonna get all of those things out and visible. So get this guy ready. This will be trash. These little indicators are trash. Just, just for paper sake, I'll pretend it's paper. Huh? Okay. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready. Braytex. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten right there. Booby tip, I got one. Booby one. Needle, I got one. One needle. Do you see it? I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. <laughs> one. So just make sure as the circulator and as the tech that you are both seeing the thing, right? If you're like, I got one needle, has the circulator be like, hey, can I see that? I need to get my eyeballs on that. Okay? One teacher. Blades. Is there anything on the needle that needs to be red? like some of the packaging to her like that she needs to see or just yeah. the actual she just needs to see the number 
Got it, right? So yeah. this just has one in the pack. She just needs to see one needle. If there were two in the pack, she would need to see two. If there were eight, she would need to see eight. Got if they're multi-packs. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. But she doesn't care what flavor it is. She just wants to know how many, verify how many with me. Okay. So then if you have more than one suture, you're, you're just going to count them all as a total. Okay. Got it. You want to say the name of the item and then how many you have, but you don't want to just say blades two. You want to say blades one, two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clue them into the item because they're going to have a sheet where there's a list so that they, their eyes can locate that which comes more into play when you have instruments, you know? But um, anyways, okay, so that's all for the count. All right, so now could I get my saline sheet? Sure. So I'm gonna get my salines. Okay, so saline, I have 0.9 sodium chloride and it is 8.21 for expiration. You have 0.9% sodium chloride, 8.21. Okay, I'm gonna make my label. I'm gonna write NACL, which is legal, and it's 500 mLs. It is? Yes, 500 okay. ml. I'm gonna write that too. So I'm gonna write the strength, what it is, the expiration date, and how much. That's what we decided, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it. Because sometimes the uh, anesthesia provider will ask the doctor how much irrigation have we used, and they'll look to you to let them know how much you have left mm -hmm. and what you started with. Oh man, look what I have left. <laughs> 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 So I did my count, I got my meds, now I can set up my mayo stand, and I decided I'm going to make this my working area, so I'm going to put my sponges in the opposite corner. There's more than one way to skin a cat, but this is the way I do it. Make sure you lock them, or you put them on your mayo stand, close them. I'm just going to grab everything because I know everything's going to go up there anyways. For this, there's not a lot of stuff. I just usually put it in a line. <clears throat> if you want, you could put your stitchy over here. <sighs> that was a hard setup. <laughs> okay, so now the last thing we have to do is just um, make our drape towels, our four square towels. So when you do that, again, there's many ways to do it. But the way that I fold them is just a, a, a two or three inch little cuff. And I'm gonna do three of them where I'm cuffing them towards me. And then the last one away. And they're perfectly set up so when um, when my surgeon gets ready to drape, the bottom one is what she's gonna want, okay? And I'm gonna need her gloves, her gown, and she gets a good towel. She gets the good one. She gets the good one. This little timeout thing, I'm gonna put here so that it reminds us for a timeout, okay? Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I am well, I'm Rhiannon. and I'm gonna be your scrub tech today. Nice to meet you, Rhiannon. Where are you from? I'm from here. <laughs> or we know you're a native. What about you? I'm from Minnesota. How do you say? <laughs> <laughs> I know they were just having your conversation, which was so okay. funny. Okay, so since I was um, I was talking, um, did you see how I passed the towel? Mm -hmm. Remember how you drape right for like the catheter? You just want to protect your hands, and then put half on her hand, and then the rest of it hanging between her hands. Okay, for the gown, come way out here on these little flaps and hide all of your fingers. I usually keep my hands like this. It reminds me to stop when I get to the shoulder and not go over because I can't see back there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give that to her. Oh, what happened, guys? Who wants to circulate and just tie up Dr. Stoltz gown? Okay, we'll wait and then I'll show you about the sleeves. Thanks, babe. Okay, 
<laughs> so as your circulator is doing that, you're just going to keep working, but I just wanted to wait so that Gabe could also observe. So now you're going to just expose, I just kind of pull the sleeve down until their little thumb sticking out. Remember the cuff isn't sterile, so you just want to stay away from the cuff. Orient the glove by selecting the right one first. Open it all the way. Thumb or palm is going to go towards your surgeon. Cover your fingers. Same way, open palm or thumb to your surgeon. And they'll usually help you with this second one. Keep your thumbs way out so they don't get you. Okay. And then mm -hmm. dancing. We can dance with our surgeon. Thank you. You are welcome. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to separate these a little bit so it's easier for her to get a hold of them while she's draping. First one she's going to put at the front and then dealer's choice for top or bottom. And then she's going to drape across from herself. Or she can walk around to the other side. So the folded flap goes down. Yes. Got it. And we'll practice that eventually. Okay, so different surgeons have different preferences. Would you like the three quarter sheet? Sure. Okay. So with this three quarter sheet, it has a reinforced end and it's the thicker end. That thicker end is going to go closest to your work site, right? Because we want that reinforced end to be closer to where we're working. Uh -huh. So you're just going to open it up, find the two side or the two edges i don't know <laughs> you're yeah. going to give one to your surgeon you're going to stay up high and you're going to come to your side and then cuff and to the feet just make sure you don't go down here you just want to stay in your zone <laughs> you do that <laughs> Looks like an airplane stewardess. Very dainty, very airplane stewardess. <laughs> okay, uh, here I have what we're going to use as our top sheet. This is a transverse lap sheet. See how it has the guy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the guy's head. We're going to orient that towards our patient's head. We're going to center this over that area that she left open. Okay, we we'll place it like this. She's gonna take half, I'm gonna take half. We would take these little things off, which are sticky, but since we reuse, we're not doing that. So you would just give it a little push just to stick it down. We're gonna take a step back. Just watch yourself on the arm board and all that fun stuff. We're gonna go to the feet, cup our hands. And then you can get two hands involved for this one, but make sure you cuff it because anesthesia is gonna be groping around up here <laughs> to put up their anesthesia screen. Does somebody want to come and help us? Anesthesia. So there's a purple clamp right there. So go ahead and take that off. You're just going to wrap this around and clamp it. Yeah. You might want to relocate to over here in just a second so that you can see. Thank you. Perfect. Now let's say the situation was this was folded up this way. Come inside, don't work on the outside so that your hand is still protected to cover up under step arm, okay? All right, so now we're gonna move our stuff in. First, the mayo stand. Couple things with the mayo stand. You wanna make sure that it um, does not hit the patient, right? So you lift it up a little bit. You don't have to push anything, pull anything to lift it up. You just, just kind of stabilize it. I just kind of stabilize it with my foot and just pull up. Just keep my hand underneath it as I'm moving in to make sure that it's not resting on the patient. Yeah. Okay. Back table, we don't want to grab by the edge. Push down hard on your top. Move it in. Is this perpendicular? Is that what we call it? At a right yes. angle? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go with that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're yeah. going to do our timeout. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that. Get our timeout. A couple sponges up there, always, always two sponges on the field to start. Sponges are like, you know, the bread and butter of surgery. Right, Marcus? Sometimes they want to, you know, draw pictures of the sexo or something. <laughs> Pick up any digits. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm like, apparently I thought I was left-handed today. All right, Sin, join my club. Crackadabby hold that. And snap. Snappity doodle. And could be a deeper retractor? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Thank you so much. You are welcome, sir. <laughs> you will meet some very nice birds. Can I work with you every day? Yeah. Now? Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then speaker. <laughs> can I come out with this? Yes, you can. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Snip. Sure, you can do a couple more. Because <laughs> this stuff reminds me of how I do it. I love the way she does it, especially when she ties her knot. <laughs> couple. Yes, please. Is that good? Um, a little bit further down. Okay, one push. That's it? Perfect. Okay. All right. And then, here we go. Yep, then we would wash up. I would just give her, simulate uh, a wet, wet, and a dry. We would get the dressings. Dressings would get put on, and then something just to cover them up and keep them clean while we reserve, re remove the schmutzy drapes. So at this point, I'm going to move my stuff back. I'm going to keep it sterile. So I'm going to just do the reverse that I did to get up to the field. And can we get our um, drinks on cup, please? Yes. Thank you. Dr. Robbie. Okay, so as the tech, you're usually going to put your hand on that towel, protect the dressings, because nothing is keeping them on the wound, except for your hand at this point. You're going to roll these drapes inside out and switch hands to still control the dressings. All of that's gonna go into the garbage. If you had clips on the towels, make sure that you remove those before it goes into the garbage. You're gonna wait for your circulator to come so that she can tape on the dressing or whatever. Usually there's some betadine or whatever prep. There could be other schmutz. A good thing for you to do as the tech and you can use this towel half of it wet, keep half of it dry. You can wash around. You don't want to get the, the tape or the dressing wet, but you can help by cleaning up the patient. They appreciate not leaving orange. Yes. <laughs> okay. And so once the patient was out of the room, so we get out of our garb, hand hygiene, exam gloves, they might need help moving the patient. Once the patient is out of the room, then it's safe for me to come and break down my field. Okay, questions? No, pretty straightforward. Okay, let's um, practice the turnover. 